Hello everyone. We're back with the Zeltec Super Pro 7500. And to remind you, if you have not done so, or you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. It really helps. Um, we're going to demo the magic chip for the 7500. Um, I have it already installed onto a GX001. In this low cost seven to ten dollar adapter, which is a PLCC 44 two dip dual inline package, there I have pre installed an NXP P87C51MC2. sure if you can see that but we're going to demonstrate this magic chip because I failed to do so on the last video and this is just going to be a quick video showing you that it won't read with the incorrect adapter ID set but it will read with the correct adapter ID set so I'm going to power this up I have it set to a GX001, which is just the basic adapter. So I'm going to hit read. And we get an error on the screen that says adapter unmatched. Sometimes it'll pop an error down here that's the operational error. So I'm going to show you the screen real quick. And there you see it. It says the adapter is unmatched. So let's go back to the programmer. All right, we're back at the programmer. So I already have it typed into one of my saved slots because it's common use. I'm going to go to GX2044. That is what the software calls out for the adapter to be used. So I don't know the price of a GX2044, but I will link it in the description uh, to the Zeltec website. Um, it's probably over $100, maybe $200, um, or around there. Uh, pricing seems to change a little bit on those. You can get them out of China, and they're pretty reasonable. Um, but I'm going to hit read real quick here. And it's red. We will verify. And we're good. So that shows you it works. Um, really simple. Um, I did have a bad button. Somehow I broke one of my attack switches, so I replaced it. That's why I have a black one there. Um, let's just go up here. And to be able to change it, you just hit the enter, enter. Enter. If you want to change that to a 2, you go 2. If you want to change that to a 4, change that to a 4. And you got to keep going because some of these adapter IDs for the GXs are get really long, so you put a lot of spaces. There you go. Back into run mode. We will read again, and we have a read, verify, and we are good. So I hope this helps you out. Um, I will also link Alexander's telegram in the description. So if you want one of these, you can message him and he might send you one. Um, I'm not sure what he's charging for them yet, um, but I will tell you this, they will be less cost than one of the adapters from Zeltec. So, have a good day. That's all.